Today is August 6th, and this is an update of my garden. So the grapes are almost done ripening. It has slight flavor. I mean, it has um, grape flavor, but not as sweet as I like. It, has to, it still has a little bit of sourness. But I've been eating it the last couple of days still. It still tastes good, but not perfect. And I let the grape just grow wherever it wanted to. Because I wanted to see where new grapes will form next year. I mean, grapes grow on new growth. But this one-year-old growth will have new growth next year, I'm hoping. And grapes will grow off of those vines. And this thing really grew a lot. Because I want to see how long I can grow these. Because I want to put a trellis, grape trellis, right here where I'm going to park my car. And put like a trellis on top of the car and have the grapes grow through it so they form the roof of my parking space. I think that'll look pretty cool and give me shade in the summer. I have to be careful climbing over here. This is my gate. <laughs> Keep the dogs out of the garden. And this is my mulberry tree. This grew a lot in the last couple of days. <clears throat> so I have one mulberry tree here, one there. This one right there and this big one right here so my melons <laughs> I just got two melons well one and a half because they didn't really de develop any sweetness and they just succumb to disease and for cucumbers I think I'm almost done with these two because they they were pretty resilient but then they became diseased also so here's one two I think there's only two or three left on this here and then they're done so I'm gonna Maybe plant a few more seeds to keep the cucumbers coming in during fall. And here's my, what is this thing called? Okra. Notice that okra flowers are very beautiful. They're yellow. I mean, this one isn't open yet. But when they're open, they're pretty dang beautiful. Pick some a couple of okras before they go to seed, then they might shut down production. And I took this sucker off and planted this here to see if it'll root and give me tomatoes. And these are grape cuttings I'm trying to root. Let's see how that goes. These are all just experiments I'm doing. Mm, I hope I'm not getting bit by mosquitoes. Oh, frog. Where is it? There it is. Another one just went in there. And another one just went in there. <clears throat> so one thing bad about having these tall weeds are mosquitoes love hiding in the weeds. 
When it's sunny out, they hide under there, and when you walk by, they jump on you and bite you. And I think they have, I think I heard on the news that they have vaccinations for Japanese encephalitis, so if you get bite, bit by a mosquito, you don't get develop it. So I might have to go to the hospital and get a immunization shot for that. <clears throat> Right over there. Oh, the winds blow over my tomato plant. Not tomato plant, potato plant. Oh. <clears throat> and my squash plant, every time it rains, it rots the flowers and then the squash rots right behind it. I mean I should have at least like 16 to 20 squash developing already but they flowered in the wrong time and they started rotting. I'm not getting a lot of tomato production. Yeah, I'm getting flowers but they're not getting pollinated. I wonder if it's due to too much rain this year. Next year I'm going to put a plastic cover over here. To keep the rains off. I want to control how much water gets to the root. Because if you get too much, if these things get too much water, they drop their flowers sometimes. <clears throat> We had hurricane force winds come through here yesterday. A leftover hurricane that went through eastern China. And my plants, some of them got untied, fell over. <clears throat> and my Swiss chard, I guess once they get old, they get succumbed to disease also. Hmm. My basil plants are all going to seed now. So this peach tree, I'm going to cut back drastically this summer, I mean this winter. Because I want it to grow straight up to at least six feet high so I can walk under it. Then I want it to... Um, go out like a v-shape because I want to grow, grow strawberries under the tree the peach tree I want to make a multi-layered garden because I only have a small garden here small piece of land and if I, I gotta maximize production on it Water collection last night, I guess, picked up a couple inches of water. And these jujus beads, <clears throat> they're getting diseased by rust. Oh, look at that. So I don't think I'm going to get a lot of production this year. Probably, I don't know how much, but very little. And if this happens again next year, because next year I'm going to try to control the rust by cutting off the leaves as soon as I see leaves getting, you know, rust bit infection. If that doesn't do it, I'm just going to cut these trees down. I mean, there's no point for me keeping it because I will not be using any pesticides, fungicides, anything like that in my yard. So is that going to rot? Hmm, I don't know. I 
that one isn't because the flower is gone, so it's not gonna rot. So I can take that flower off and save it, but is it pollinated yet? If it's not pollinated yet, I can't take the flower off. <clears throat> so now a lot of pumpkins. And if I cut some of these off, the pumpkins will get bigger individually. But I don't want big pumpkins. I want small individual sized pumpkins that people can eat. That one person can eat at a time. Because that's what's popular nowadays in Korea. So many people live alone that if they get big, if you have big pumpkins they won't buy it. Because they'll rot before they can eat it. And it's a hassle carrying it. So for many reasons. Yeah, I gotta take this flower off before it rots everything. I hope I, I, hope I got to it soon enough. <clears throat> Dang, I already got bit by a mosquito. I feel itchiness developing on my, on my arm. <clears throat> All right, so that's it for the update. I got a new tripod, so I'll try using that next time I'm working in the yard. I mean, does anyone want to see me working in the yard? I have a few insects. They're doing a little damage, but not enough where it matters yet. Plus, the ant thing on my finger. Get off. Hmm. Okay, that's it. Bye.